Welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniela Kwaku, your health coach and friend, and we are still on the diabetes series. And today's topic is just all about meat, meat surrounding diabetes. And if you are interested in demystifying any meats that you have been having in your head all this while, this video is going to help you out. So let's go. Our first myth is that people that are diabetic cannot eat carbs now the truth is any diabetic person in fact anybody that wants to live a healthy life a healthy go on a healthy lifestyle must eat a balanced diet and a balanced diet includes carbohydrates if you are diabetic it just simply means that you need to eat the right carbs the carbs that will not spike your sugar level at the same time do not have a high glycemic index now if it has a high glycemic index it means that it's going to spike your sugar level so it just means you need to know the right carbs to eat in, it in order for you to manage your sugar level so the truth is every diabetic person needs the right carbohydrate in moderation at the right time for a proper management of blood sugar. The second myth is that type 1 diabetes is the worst kind of diabetes and type 2 diabetes is the mild kind of diabetes. Now that is quite laughable because <coughs> I mean diabetes is diabetes if you don't manage your diabetes very well it could lead to complications like even high blood sugar high blood pressure heart disease so many complications can come as a result of diabetes and type 2 diabetes just means that you need to you need to you need to know that whether type 1 type 2 gestational you need to know that you have to take charge of your health so there is no mild diabetes because if you do not manage it well it can lead to complications our third myth is that once you are diabetic you can't play any kind of sport you can't do any form of exercise uh, it might it might kill you or it might lead to your breakdown now this is a serious fallacy i don't even know where to start <laughs> this is this is this is not true okay we have people out there that are making exploits that are doing so much despite diabetes we even have our famous nacho fernandez from that is playing in real madrid i mean that guy is, is going is playing just living his normal life okay we even have people that are acting they don't take it that it, it does not limit them okay i always believe that when you know better if you know that this thing does not cannot break you cannot limit you and you will go all out to live your life and naturally Fernandez have had this diabetes right from childhood so he was told when he was young that he cannot play football so he took it upon himself his mom also helped him out and look at where he is today he's a, he's a, he's a great star to people so please 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 it does not mean once you're diabetic, it does not mean that you cannot play any small sport or lead any activity. In fact, you need it. So the fourth myth is that diabetes is a contagious disease because it's a, it's, it, it is not a communicable disease, okay? It's not a communicable disease. What I believe is that if you are diabetic, it is the research has even said it has stated that it's a hereditary disease. Even at that, it's probable. It's a probable possibility because if you have it in your lineage, you can control it. You can take charge of your genes. There are a lot of people that, even in my family, there are a lot of people that have weathered it and conquered it despite their hereditary uh, predisposition to diabetes. So it's not contagious. 
it's not communicable and even if it's hereditary you can control it our fifth and final myth is that if you are skinny you cannot have diabetes well that is a pure myth and it's not true there is this new term there's this terminology we call it metabolically obese normal weight it means you're skinny fat means that you have you are looking slim it looks slim you look like you're slim and healthy but you have excess amount of fat in your body and less muscles and that could lead to um, your risk of type 2 diabetes so if you are especially around the midsection if you are um, slim if you look like you're slim and you think that you cannot have diabetes you need to really check your 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 body fat level and see how much fat you have in your system sometimes you could have so much fat in your system and it could still look like you're slim you are increasing your risk you need to work on your body weight you need to keep it, it's even better i always prefer for you to be fat and fit than for you to be uh, lean and unhealthy so keep the body in the right frame and body fat required body fat lipid level so that you don't increase your risk of type 2 diabetes so the myth is demystified and i want to let you know that it's not only obese people can have type 2 diabetes even lean people can have type 2 diabetes as long as you are not checking your body fat you are increasing the body fat in your system especially your midsection you are increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes okay 